Hi students, today we're going to go over Unit 3, Module 2, Session 1, Modeling Decimals. It says, the base 10 models below can be used to represent decimal numbers. Here we have one whole, one tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth. So we're going to write the number that each model represents. Here's an example done for you. We see one whole, two hundredths, and five thousandths. And then we write it as a decimal. 1 and 25 thousandths. Let's try number 2, or I guess 1a. Here we see 1 whole and 4 thousandths. This, these symbols right here are represent thousandths. So how do we write that as a decimal? It's be 1 whole and 4 thousandths, like this. We can even write up here, we can say one thousandth looks like this as a decimal. One hundredth looks like this. And one tenth looks like this. That might help you a little bit. Let's look at B. Hmm, how many holes do I have? Two holes, three tenths, one hundredth, four thousandths. So how to write that as a decimal? Two holes. 3 tenths, 100, 4 thousandths. I read this as a decimal as 2 and 314 thousandths. Let's look at C. We have 1 whole and 7 hundredths. That's right. How do we write that as a decimal? 1 and 7 hundredths, like that. For number two, it says, for each question, fill in the missing decimal or fraction equivalent or equivalents, or shade the grid to match the missing numbers. Hmm, so looking at this grid, what would be the decimal and what would be the fraction equivalent? Well, if I count how many spots are shaded in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If that's ten, then we know this is ten. And what's this right here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 30 all together. And that would be 30 hundredths. I could also, also call it 3 tenths. So either 3 tenths or 30 hundredths works. The fraction equivalent would be 3 tenths. Let's try that again. The fraction equivalent would be 3 tenths or 30 hundredths because those are equivalent fractions. So either of those works. For B, how many boxes do we have shaded in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of sides. So 5 and 5 is 25. So there's 25 shaded in out of how many? 100 total. That's correct. So what do I say as a decimal? 25 hundredths, right? Because actually one of these little squares equals one one hundredth. So if I have 25 shaded in, that's going to be 25 hundredths. As a decimal, it looks like this. As a fraction, it's going to be 25 over 100. You're right. If some of you are like, I don't like that because it's not very simplified, we can simplify it to also be one fourth. Let's look at C. Oh, now we have to shade in. We have the decimal of two tenths, and now we're going to shade it in. Now you can shade two tenths in many different ways. I'm going to show you one way. One way you're going to shade it in is you're going to say, I know that going down like this one whole row or one whole column is one tenth, but I need to color in two tenths, so I'm gonna color in two columns. So that right there is two tenths, excellent. Our fraction equivalent is going to be two tenths. Or you could also think of it as 20 hundredths. Right, I'm gonna fix that too. There we go. And then the next we have 60 hundredths. What is that as a decimal? It's going to look like this, 60 hundredths. 60 hundredths is also 6 tenths. And to color it in, 6 tenths or 60 hundredths, 
I'm going to color in one column, two, three, four, five, six columns. I'm coloring in. That's right. Coloring in or shading in. Six columns. And let's look at the challenge problem. It says, Julian walked six tenths of a mile to his friend's house and then another 35 hundredths of a mile to the store. He walked one fourth of a mile back home. Julian's sister said he walked one and one fifth miles. Do you agree? Why or why not? So let's look. He walked six tenths of a mile to his friend's house, then another 35 hundredths. He walked a quarter of a mile back home so what, how much do you walk all together? So we're taking 6 tenths plus 35 hundredths plus 1 fourth. Now I can change these to decimals. What would 6 tenths be as a decimal? That's right, it looks like that. 35 hundredths would look like this. And 1 fourth, what's 1 fourth of a dollar? Thinking about that as it relates to dollar. That's right, 25 cents or 25 hundredths. Add that up, we can write that vertically to help us. 6 tenths plus 35 hundredths plus 25 hundredths. You can even think of the 6 tenths as 60 hundredths to help add it up, help all of the digits line up. So there we see 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 1 and 20 hundredths. And so you can think as one and twenty hundredths the same as one and one fifth. Why yes, it is, because I can know that one fifth is how many tenths? Two tenths. And isn't this also two tenths? Yes, it is. So do you agree? Did he really walk one and one fifth mile? Yes, I agree. And you're going to explain why you agree. And that's all for today.